He picked up a stick, intending to kill the wolf in front of him, but softened when he looked into the wolf's eyes. He tied the wolf's mouth with a cloth strip and carried it to the river, where he cleaned its wounds with water. The wolf quickly tore off the cloth, but didn't attack the boy. Just watched him fiercely. The boy offered the wolf a bowl of water, which it happily lapped up. As the boy prepared to leave, the wolf tucked at his scarf, not letting him go. He struggled to retrieve his scarf, and the wolf looked heartbroken. From then on, wherever the boy went, the wolf followed. One day, the wolf brought back a wild boar, but the boy's attack missed, and the boar escaped. The wolf looked at the boy with disdain and ran off. However, the wolf returned that night, curling up next to the boy and licking him awake the next morning. Its appearance gradually became became more dog-like. Eventually, the boy took the wolf back to his tribe, where it gave birth to several wolf pups. Through domestication, they became the first dogs in human history.